Let's go, it's time to paint. Here's all the parts, I got them taped up the other night. And I'm just gonna lay them on cardboard, spray them, flip them, hit them. It's gonna look like crap, which is perfect. All right, sight, rest, stabilizer, of course those are already done. And if you guys didn't see the last video, go back and check it out. But here's the style I'm looking for. You know, little bronze, black, rough. That's a piece of license plate there. It's a piece of license plate there. It's the rat bow, baby. Black limbs. I don't know yet. Just gonna start painting things. I really don't have a plan. I just know mainly black with some of that copper accent. And then I've got some hammered black, but it's got too much metallic flake in it. It looks like glitter. I hate that. And uh, some red, some silver. I have some rubbed bronze or something like that somewhere too. It's also a little metallic for my taste. So I'm going to start with satin black. Maybe. And so this is Krylon, Krylon Fusion, and you can paint this stuff on anything. It will absorb flex, dries pretty quick, pretty good shoot, pretty good stuff. And I'm gonna only do a coat because I want some of this old stuff to shine through, just barely. Like my uh, limb sticker there. I'll show you all what I'm saying. So that stuff hits heavy and covers up good, but see, you can slightly see the Bone Collector logo through there. Is this bitch even recording? Oh, it is, sorry. See that Bone Collector logo just faintly through there? My sticker for my string measurements and stuff. I'm gonna wipe that off, because I want that to show up a little better. But it's not gonna be, you know, clean, smooth looking paint, it's gonna be Grunge, baby. Grunge. Rat. And the more I look at it, I think I want these accents to be the copper color. Riser and limbs to be more black. Tell you what, that paint got some stank. My goal with the riser is not to hit it with so much black that you can't see the camo or the pattern behind it. I kind of want it to be like this. You can still read Bone Collector. You can still see some of the logos. Well, here she is, pretty much entirely painted. See the cams and the limb pockets and the Cable roller, all of that stuff is in that hammered copper bronze looking color. Everything else is in satin black. So all I've got to do now is let that stuff dry, flip it, hit the other side of everything. And once that's dry, I'll uh, let you all take a look and it'll be time to start reassembling. All right, guys, it's 5.30 in the morning. Getting up fairly early because me and Bailey are going to go shed hunting. But I had to get out here right away and check on the bow. So I painted this thing last night. I don't have very good light in here this morning, but I hit this in a way that the camo still shines through, which you can see in certain areas. Basically, I oversprayed it with black and uh, didn't fully coat it. Awesome. Probably going to end up with a little rat bow logo right there. I really like that hammered copper paint. My cable roller. Either tonight or tomorrow, we're going to do final assembly on this thing. We're going to put it together. Here's the string of cables. Getting her set up within the next 24 hours. 
Shit. <laughs> We're on them. Ah! Shh. You're scaring them. Oh God. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. The bow is painted. The paint is dry. Hammered copper, satin black, all the accessories, everything's done. I got the bow press out here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together right now. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad. Shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that Someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the thrown back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought of this Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life Alright, so what do you guys think? I'll be quite honest with you For just messing around with some junk I found laying in the shop Some spray paint Turned out really cool You're not going to find anything like that And that's really the point of this build Is I'm encouraging you to well, I did spend 118 bucks on strings and cables. You'll have that. Bows from 2016. You can buy one of those fully set up. Pretty cheap nowadays. Take it apart. Build it up the way that you want to. You're going to get something totally unique. You're going to save thousands of dollars. And you're going to shoot just as well. That's something we all think. You know, you see all the advertisements for things that are going to make you a better archer. They can. But you are the limiting factor. You're better off to invest in yourself. If you want to take lessons, if you're really wanting to get better, do that before you spend a dime on equipment. A professional archer can shoot this bow better than 90% of people can shoot this bow. So invest in yourself, have fun with your setup, don't blow all the money. If you want to spend the money, great, but here, you know, just proof positive, pretty cool setup. With all that said, I'm excited with how it turned out. I'm gonna get it tuned. I'm going to shoot some arrows out of it. I think it's going to do pretty well, but we'll find out here really quickly. All right, guys, we got, I'll show you my timing here. So here's my drop weight coming up. All right, it's fully up. But at that time, my cables really quit moving down and and kind of settles in because my stops 
We're now touching there and touching there. And I just barely let off. You can see it pop off. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. It's perfect. All right, timing's good. Rest is good. Make sure my center shot is good. Peep height should be good, but I'll double check that. Tie it in. We'll shoot this sucker through paper. Really bad right there. What does that tell me? Well, before we get too crazy, I'm going to take these stabilizers off. I'm going to tune the bow to shoot with these stabilizers, but I've seen weird hairs come out of that kind of, come out of bow torque. So I'm going to make sure this bow is lined up, then we'll tweak stabilizer weight from there, if that's the difference. Same exact hair. All right, that's actually a good thing. It means it wasn't bow torque that caused that tear. I mean, it, it's the exact same tear. I'll show you. So if you can shoot a bow with and without stabilizers and get the exact same tear, then uh, the torque is not the problem. So the bow is just out of alignment. Okay, so I added some twist to the right yoke and took some out of the left because it was torquing on that left limb a little bit. So I just straightened that out to see if that was the difference. Again, these cables were just how they came out of the bag. Pretty darn close, but hopefully that's all the change we needed. We just need a little tweak from there. Easy peasy. There's what these were our first two adjusting the limbs and I got that looks like I got a slight high tear but uh, I'll be honest with you that's almost close enough for me to not give a shit the bow sounded better there too that's the other thing you guys will notice if you get to playing with tuning a little bit you can't tune by sound but you can hear as the tune gets better it really does it just cleans up everything up all the energy is put into that arrow and the bow loses some noise so anyway i like that a lot i'm gonna make a tiny adjustment on my wrist see if i can clean that up a little more and i don't mind a high tear a very slight high tear like that but uh let's see what we can if we can solve that That'll do. That'll do for me. Close that up. I've got just a slight, and I mean slight, right there. Ah. I really want to just leave it alone. Hold on, I'll try one more thing for you paper tune freaks. Generally, I consider that plenty good enough. But let me try one thing here. What I ended up doing after that tear is I wanted to take a little more of the right tear out, but I checked my timing again, and from my last adjustment, I had accidentally spun up my top cam just a little faster. So I actually just let a turn out of my left cam, which slowed down my top cam slightly and put a little more weight on my right limb, 
which should make that tear go away. It's close. And by close, for me, that's perfect. It's good enough, baby. That's gonna shoot an arrow. I'm happy with it. So let's go get a few arrows and see if we can't shoot a group with this thing. All right, found three arrows that look the same way closely to the same. And a fairly small target. So I'm just gonna start it right here, like 10 yards. Make sure I'm on target. All right, if I hit this, I'll just pull this arrow, we'll go back to 20. Shoot a three arrow group, see how it looks. actually hit the dot I was aiming at I'm just on the right side I'm gonna fix this sight just slightly go back to 20 shoot three arrows see where we land try a quick 20 yard group Let's see what happens bow shoots fine done better I've shot better no that's not bad it's not in the center of the dot but it's not at all sighted in it's been an awesome little project I hope you guys enjoyed it I love the way this bow turned out I've actually got some thoughts now going through my mind on what all I want to do with it so I'll be sure to keep that on here I'll have some more uploads coming soon most likely related to 3d um, so if you're interested in that, they'll be there soon. Thanks, guys. Attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy. I'm mad. Do it no cap. Only got one, so you better go live it up. Cash in the back. Stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Baby,